up, it's me, it's me, it's Action Figure Freak today in another section because my table is full of shit and I want to make a random unboxing of three WWE Action Elite figures and I've seen I can't make intros on the ring mat because yes, you see it's burned and I mean real burned but you can flip it over and yes, I will, I will buy another one if I order the next time so not a big problem I mean the full NXT set is about I don't know uh, it's about three dollars I think so the whole set with uh, turnbuckles ring ropes and the mat is not as as that much expensive so I will just buy another one well, let's start with the video. Uh, first figure we'll start with the old figure is this black attire AJ Styles with the crying face. And I just like the attire because I like the Bullet Club. And uh, 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 yeah, I, I like the Bullet Club. Um, if you ask me, the intro is just not on the video because I'm drunk and I clicked on the wrong button to stop the video, so hehe, <laughs> fuck. But start with the unboxing, cause no one cares about my situation. So starting with the worst part here, the display diorama shit. You know what I mean, it's the worst part and I stopped building these up cause I have too many of these. In a build version and uh, I don't have much place so yeah starting off with the AJ Styles here and dude it it's not looking as that bad so first part I've seen is uh, yeah you can't really bend the arm down because of the vest it's possible but dude the attire is just great it's insane uh, oh I have I have to say YouTube, I'm drunk. I'm maybe kind of drunk because I don't want to have my video on YouTube Kit. So you have here this hood or whatever, and here a closed one. You can pull it over his fucking head. Uh, I am not pulling it on. I want to make the video very fast, very quick. Because, uh, dude, I want to release the video today and I have just 30 minutes or, or some kind of that. And if you say it's still too late, uh, it's German time, okay? I'm from Germany, I'm thinking in German time. So yes, this AJ Styles had the Phenomenal One uh, logo on here. The haircut is kind of sweaty and uh, yeah, the kick pads and everything else is just great. And ringside couldn't sell this figure because of the crying head. Uh, I think it's not too bad, but I thought because of the attire is too great, too sweet when you want it like that. Uh, I thought about why shouldn't I uh, buy another one because these are for five dollars or some kind of that. So perfect for just custom figures. But I thought why shouldn't I buy the blue attire from the uh, from the first time in line? Um, if I find it somewhere, why shouldn't I buy it another time and switch the hats? Because the old hat is just great and this attire is insane, so why not? But next figure, I know he's John Moxley now, but I know him as Dean Ambrose. Because he was world champion when I started watching wrestling and yes, it was very, very late. Uh, but I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was a kid, and yes, this was a sad childhood, but whatever, this is an insanely great Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, whatever, uh, the whole series was great, I mean, look at this, Kane, Dusty, Sami Zayn, Shelton, Benjamin, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Dean Ambrose, I just want to have the other ones. Just missed three of them, but let's pull this out of the box, man. So yes, it's out of the box. It comes with one of the TLC chairs. So with the Braun Strowman, we have three of these, and these are 
kind of okay. A very too light, uh, too bright and light small ladder. It's okay for what it is, but dude, it's it's too bright from the colors. I mean, this is not a good silver. It's just like Warhammer paint uh, in this very very light gray. I mean. Compare these, I mean, yes, on the first look you don't see it, but I see it, and I have a problem with it. But yeah, the uh, important part is the Dean Ambrose, and I see what the persons I have seen unboxing this have a huge problem with. The beard is not accurate. It's not accurate. The hair is very okay, but his face with the beard looks like he's fat. I mean, I have no problem with fat people. I, I'm fat myself. But that's not cool. That's really not cool. And here, yeah, uh, the attire is just great, but why not using uh, Dean Ambrose head from the SummerSlam 17 line? That was great. Or the uh, Network Spotlight figure. That was also great. But this isn't... I don't know what to say, but yeah, uh, he doesn't come with the uh, diorama displays, so yeah, they change these with the interchangeable hands. Great thing, but going on with the next figure is the newest uh, way of, of figures. It's the Velveteen Dream, and yes, you know it as good as I do. I just bought it because of the North American title, but also I think the figure is kind of okay. So I, I just pulled the Velveteen Dream out of the box and I have one problem. Uh, I mean, these sides I always uh, put on my shelf of, of the boxes. Just looks great on the olders. But if you compare it to the newer ones. From the front it's very okay, but look at this shit. I mean, yes, it's always with the color of the wrestler. But dude, what the fuck? Why should you do this? So, whatever. I just uh, pulled out the Velveteen Dream and his hands was just too hard sealed in the box. So I just made some scratches on the arms. That's very bad. I mean, they're really putting it hard into the box. And first problem. I hated to see they gave him the same hands. So one of these grabbing hands his posable hand and two of these opened hands. I hate 